What's up you guys, Zeus the DJ back with another video and today I'm doing a follow up to this Dell 15 inch backpack which I've had for over a year and a half, almost two years now. And this thing has held up really, really well. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys an update as to how this backpack is holding up after almost two years of use. Let's go ahead and dig into this and then you guys will see exactly how well built this backpack is actually made. So looking at the backpack, I know my initial unboxing first impressions video of this, it did really well as far as views go, but the quality wasn't all there. I know, like I just did it handheld. Like I had my friend hold the camera as I was like kind of showing off the features. If you're interested in checking out that video, um, link will be up here in one of the corners. You'll see that little card pop up right now. Uh, so go ahead and check that out. One issue that I've had with this backpack, the only issue that I've had with this backpack is that these, um, the zippers actually come with like a little red tab that's on them. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm gonna have to actually zoom in on post, in post. But there's like a little red tab, like a little thing that, that just made it longer. Those ended up popping off, but I mean, other than that, the zippers still work well. It's starting to fray a little bit right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put my finger in front of it for some contrast. It's starting to fray a little bit right there. We got some dog hair in there. It's starting to fray a little bit right here, but the straps are sturdy. And you know what? This thing's about 25 pounds or so worth of stuff that's inside. So let's go ahead and get to it. Normally on the side right here, I put like a drink on this side if I have a drink. On the other side, I always carry my reading glasses. You know, I gotta have my reading glasses on deck, especially if I'm gaming. And this is a gaming backpack. I no longer have a Dell laptop. My laptop fits in here and I have a 17 inch Asus ROG Strix 2 Intel Core i7 8750 or whatever, something like that processor. It's a six core processor with an RTX 2070 uh, graphics card inside. So inside this first pouch, um, could either be used for like headphones or whatever. Um, I use it for my mouse. So the mouse that I'm using is a Logitech G502 Hero. So I always keep this with me. I'll just go ahead and move this to the side so you guys can kind of see. I have my chapstick. Um, I also carry my webcam. This is the Logitech. Uh, which kind is it? I don't remember. If I find the model, I'll list, I'll list all this stuff down below. If you guys are interested in picking up some of this stuff, affiliate links will be down below. That'll help out the channel, help us grow. And then I have a flash drive in there. And then in the main compartment, and what I like about this is that you can unzip it like all the way down, but it does have like this little stretch pad right here. I don't carry this. I just threw this in there for dramatic effect, but I have my uh, keyboard in here. Sometimes I do carry this around with me, um, but using a laptop, I just use the keyboard on the laptop. This is the Corsair K63 wireless gaming keyboard, and it's only blue, so it's not full RGB, but it works. Nonetheless, that's what I use when I had my desktop. Um, in this first little compartment right here, with the, along with the strap is my headphones, and these are the, um, Logitech G Pros. Um, in the bottom, I have my huge power brick. This is a very huge power brick for my laptop. See, Asus right there, you got the logo. I have a pin, because there's like little clips right here that you can put stuff on. You also have like little storage compartments right here. And then, I know it's kind of like not cool because I have an Asus laptop inside of a Dell backpack, but um, I've been wanting to get an Asus backpack but this thing's held up so well that like I kind of don't need a different backpack other than it being a little dirty or whatever you know you can see like some smudge marks on there or whatever a little bit of fraying here and there but it's not too bad you know like it's held up perfectly well and I've had this for almost two years and then um, I've only ever used this twice I mean it has rained quite a bit but I don't really use this that often but it has the rain cover, boom. And then you still have access to your straps. So if it's raining, boom, got you covered right there. So um, that's pretty much what I have in my backpack. I know that this wasn't that type of video, like what's in my backpack, but um, this is just to show you guys that this thing has held up really, really well. And I don't remember the price. I will try to quote it right here somewhere. Um, 
link in the description below, whatever. But I think it was around 60 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. I got it on sale at the time. I don't know how much these cost now, uh, but everything here will be listed in the description below if you guys are interested in picking up one of these. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend this backpack if you have a Dell or Alienware. Uh, just know I did have a 15 inch, 15.6 inch Alienware. Um, I forgot the model, I think it was like the AW15R or something like that. That did fit in here and it was a little bit of a tight fit, kind of like the 17 inch Asus ROG, but it fits in there. So just know, I don't think the 17 inch will fit because that's a huge laptop, the Alienware 17 inch, um, but this is definitely smaller than the Alienware 17 inch laptop. So. Um, even if you don't have a Dell computer or laptop, whatever, if you have anything else, you know, smaller, like a 15 inch, anything will pretty much fit in here. I think the HP Omen fit in here. Um, at one point I had a 17 inch MSI, can't remember the name, um, but that fit in here as well. And it was a tight fit, but it did fit. Highly recommend the backpack. It's held up really, really well. That's pretty much what I'm getting to is like this backpack is built like a champ, basically. You know, it's, it's, it's held up. Um, the straps are still on there, which is, you know, probably one of the biggest things. Obviously, the zippers is another uh, big thing because um, without the zippers, you can't keep your stuff in there securely. And without the straps, you're pretty much, you know, it's not a backpack anymore. <laughs> if you guys found this video helpful or useful in any way, make sure to click that like button and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, Zeus, I'm out. Wow, get the fuck out of here, dude.